How's it going guys? It's me Daniel from Daniel Lewis today and So Daniel. Hello guys, it's me, Daniel from Daniel Lewis today. You might know me from another channel called Stop Laughing Now, but no, I'm making thanks sir. in the middle of my intro. How's it going guys? It's me, Daniel from Daniel Lewis today and <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Dan! <laughs> and I'm joined with Me. Isaac! <laughs> and today we're gonna be doing the Who's More Likely to Challenge? Uh, well, the mo who's most likely to tag, but basically we've got two pieces of paper, one saying Dan, one saying Isaac. One saying Dan, one, one saying me. me. And the whole point of this is I've got some questions on my phone. There's a twist though, this is like the extreme challenge. Basically, we both say Isaac, both get to choose an item to put in a smoothie from each other from the kitchen, and that'll be at the end of the video. So we could end up, we're not going stuff like just pure chilli and stuff, you know, we're going some stuff nice, some stuff a bit horrible, but yeah, we're going to see how it goes. I know, I, I just excuse my hair, it's like cannonball. Cannonball. Anyway, the first question is who's most likely to get drunk? If I'm being mm. honest, this is a bit horrible, but I think. Mm. Yeah, I think you're a bit of a lightweight. A bit of a lightweight? Yeah. No. Well, you agreed with me. Yeah, but that's just because I'm ruthless, I'm savage. So. Except we do not drink alcohol or condemn anyone to drink alcohol on the age, do we, Isaac? No. Although we are both 19. Sit back down, make an entrance. What up? Who's most likely to fart in public? Straight away. <laughs> the one you've just done. Who's most likely to know every lyric to a One Direction song? I don't like them. I'm just good at remembering stuff. He's he will watch an advert once, like a TV advert, and he knows the whole script of the advert. He's like, he'll be walking downstairs, he stayed over at mine last night, and he'll be walking downstairs, and I'm just like speaking and singing this TV advert. I'm like, what are you doing? That's from like four years ago. He's like, yeah, but I just remember it. <laughs> Who is most likely to get a stalker? <laughs> <laughs> I've already got like three though. And it's not the type of stalker you kind of like to have. It gives you confidence that it's not one of them. No. You, you want to run a mile. No. You want to get a gun and run. We're slaying this one. <laughs> oh, I think I slapped you on my wrist. <laughs> oh. Who is most likely to die first in a zombie apocalypse? Not because like a zombie or anything. I reckon you just get run over. Not in like an offensive way or anything. But for from survival terms, you'd be good. I'd be good because I've done clay pigeon shooting. Or I feel like I used to do clay pigeon shooting. I still do martial sometimes. Arts. Martial arts. I know survival. So you know, like how to fend for myself and all that. Well. But it's the fact that I'm so gormless. Uh -huh. I'd probably walk off a cliff somehow, or I'd probably try to make friends with a zombie. This one can be a bit. I'm, I'm like sat on you, aren't I? Really close. This one can be a bit con contradictory. Contradictual. How do you say that word? But I don't want to cause any fight about this one. But who's who's most likely to pull off a good fashion, like a good out? Hmm. Like you know, walking in the street, modern fashion. You know what people generally are wearing. I've already done one. Pull off a modern fashion, then dapper, isn't it? No. Who's most likely to punch a friend? What? I think it's gonna be. Oh, I, I feel I've got a good temper. I'm not. I don't get stressed. I've got a good temper. Yeah, in fact, yeah, because you you just punch people for the fun of it. You know, like a body punch. Yeah. This one, I think we basically know the answer for this. But you, I don't know. I'm not too sure about you actually. Who's most likely to drop the phone in the toilet? Haven't you like already done that? No, right. No. Oh, why are we getting on the right sidetrack? I got an iPad when I an iPod when I was like eleven. I just bought one with Marcos. I think it was. Took it home within like thirty minutes. I dropped it in the loo. Took it back and I said it wasn't working. So they should give me a new one. <laughs> 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 
who is most likely to win a twerk off competition? Ah, oh, my wrist! I can't even see I've it. I've sprained my wrist! Ow! I've just put my foot through the devil! I'm up! I'm up! Ow! And that's why I, I win and gonna. I'm sick of it. Who's most likely to listen? Oh, blah, blah, to classical music. Slaves. <laughs> Who's most likely to get laid first? <laughs> yeah. For me, I think I, I'd just be too gormless. Like, dumb, like, like. Not a lot of common sense. No. Yeah, but I'll probably be walking back to like the apartment or something, I'll walk in front of her going and get here. And I'll screw up, I'll like pour a bottle of wine on her or something. <laughs> oh, what? I just carry a bottle? Oh, I'm, sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not stopping. <laughs> Who is most likely to kiss a wall? Like I think it, no, I think it's mixed. Why? Because I feel I'm. Um, what did you pick? Me. I feel I'm like. Gormless enough, was loopy enough to go literally just go and kiss a wall. But with you, I feel like if someone was to say kiss a wall, you'd be like, yeah, right, yeah, 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 you know, and just go and do it. But out of just on the spot, go and do it, I'd say it on me. Yeah. We're adding like 10 things to a smoothie here, we need to get some wrong. <laughs> Who is the most likely to do the craziest, the like wackiest thing for a charity event? That's what I'm doing for my 16th birthday. What, do you want to skydive? Yeah. So we walk together. Do you know what we're walking Yeah, the one with the black and white scrub. No, no, that's wingsuit. Oh, we walk. Yeah, we have a plane. You're on the plane yeah. wing and it's like a metal fence. I want to do that when I'm like 18. On um, my 16th birthday, I'm doing during a private light session. I couldn't say I had to try this. Mm -hmm. Right guys, now we've just done the tally and so far we calculated we've got 11 the same, which is like ridiculous. To be fair, they were quite easy questions, but you know, gotta get on with it. So we've got two bottles here, one's for Isaac, which Isaac can have over here. Thank God it's not one without back. One's for me, so I'm gonna choose things for Isaac to put in, and there's 11 things. So obviously it doesn't have to be too bad, but let's get going. Right, I've chosen my 11 items. Some are nice, some are bad. The stuff that, you know, I'm not sure any of the titles of them, but some of the stuff, you know, it's a bit disgusting. It's all edible, I think. So I've got a few Doritos, chocolate powder, some cat food. I'm only putting a tiny bit in because otherwise that would be That bad. is not a tiny bit. I'll season it nicely with a cracked egg. I don't think I can drink this. Is this like, are you it allowed to drink cool. this? We've got a bit of crunchy granola. That'll have some nice sweet flavour with that lovely egg. Cordial, some juice, don't you? Bit of raspberry jam. Bit of an orange. Look at it, corned beef. Infused tuna. Yay! I don't know. Actually, it looks alright. No, it doesn't! Look that at top bit. Is it in focus? You're really close and you're not focusing it. That top bit looks alright. No. The bottom bit looks look, disgusting. Look, like, aim the camera above it now and look. Do I have to? Yeah. Let's just have a quick... No, it stinks. It, I actually can't. Don't hold your nose. One. Why? It's not that bad, is it, Isaac? <coughs> big breath, big breath. Okay, so I'm getting my revenge now. We've got some lovely flour here, some cat food, some tuna, banana, an egg, a cookie, uh, corned beef. Uh, some chocolate powder and to get some nice texture, some granola. Stop! What? Be careful what you're doing, bro. And we'll crush that all together. It stinks, doesn't it? Is that I'm sorry, but. What? How much you have to drip? It just smells of 
a rotten fish, which is a tuna, because it's with lime. There's a massive lump of banana. It looks like bamboo shoes, but it's probably banana skin. I didn't get told mine of those. No, I need to do more, that's disgusting though. Go it right. And Jeremy didn't want to be sick. It's the tuna. It's disgusting, isn't it? I thought he was taking the mip. There's like some grit in it as well. The granola. Right. I wanna do it, but That's what I was like. but now I feel like I'm sick. Anyway guys, thanks for watching that. I know you might think it's like just crazy ass weird and we're kind of BSing. Yeah, not pathetic such, but that we're lying about the experience of it. But I know you need to go and like literally get that stuff, what we've just done. Not the exact same stuff obviously, but similar sort of stuff. Cat food, tuna infused with lime and herbs and mix it in a drink and drink it. Orange skin. But anyway guys, other than that, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If it's not what you expected, it's not what you expected, but still don't forget to leave a like. Please help this channel grow, although this is my first video on this channel. And hopefully I will be pursuing this channel as well. And peace out. See ya.